Hola, hola, familia. Here we go. Oof. We are live. Thank you all for your patience. I'm here now. Had a little bit of delay in the meeting, so we are here now connecting. I want to talk about many things. Thank you for being here. Please let me know who jumps in. Let me know where you're tuning in from. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know any question you have around purpose, because today I want to talk about purpose, address a little bit about how I found my purpose, how I've helped thousands of people connect with their purpose, and maybe how I can help you go into deeper layers of purpose, and what purpose really is and what it means, right? Because I feel so many times we're looking, 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 and trying so hard when maybe it's not that hard, right? Maybe it's easier. So stay tuned. That's number one. Then I also want to talk about um, scholarships. We're giving away scholarships. And it's not only giving away, it's an exchange um, that we're asking. Whoever wants to teach others, whoever wants to learn how to help others rise and be the best version of themselves in every way possible through their physical body, mentality, their emotions, their spirituality and their energy, it encompasses everything. It actually encompasses the business too. So this is all about how to teach quantum flow. You know, I'm all about quantum flow. I created this method many, many, many years ago and it's helped so many people from all over the world. And uh, we're starting right now a training and I have many of you reached out saying, Wampa, I can't afford this training right now. So I felt the call to like, I want to offer scholarships. I want to support you guys on your journey. And the only thing I, 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 I'm going to ask is that you give back, that you give back to humanity, that you can help the world in whatever way that seems. So we're going to be talking about all these things. It's, it's uh, for me an honor to be here with all of you and be sharing this big vision because it, it's always been how can we help more people rise? How can we help more people come out of their limiting beliefs? And you know, my story was, um, you know, around, around my brother. And when I was nine years old, he, thought, he got diagnosed with epilepsy and he was going to die in two years, right? Like it was... It was a two-year uh, possibility they gave him. And through healing and, 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 and different shamans and different energy work that we did and nutrition and yoga and breath work and, and um, Qigong and Chinese medicine, Ayurveda, like everything, we did everything we could to help him. And now, 40 years after, he is still, not only still alive, but he's one of the happiest people in the planet, literally, when you meet him. It's amazing. It's amazing how he has transformed everything. And not only because of his willpower, but because how he has let go of, of, of all the limiting beliefs and possibilities, right? So for me, after, after living that, it was like, why are we so many times stuck in our lives thinking that there is only one truth and not really opening up to so much possibilities available to us. And that, that is why I, I, I love to share what I share. Like everything that has helped me, that has helped my brother, that has, that has helped thousands of clients around the world, I want to share it with you. And I want to share it in a way that you can also share it, even if you can't, you know, invest in yourself right now. I'm good with that. All I need is your commitment to say, yes, I am committed. I am going for it. I want to I wanna help others. And, and uh, I would love to hear from you. I would love to hear from you during the live stream. Why would you like the scholarship? Why do you want to help others? How's your situation right now? Uh, why quantum flow? When did you do quantum flow for the first time? And why did you fall in love with it? Because I know so many people have done so many challenges and so much, so much all over, right? That... I would love to know where did you do it for the first time? What have you done? And why do you want to go deeper? So deep that you also want to teach it, right? So, um, um, yeah, I'd love to hear from you during this time, whenever you want to share why, why you want to be part of this. And while you're sharing, I want to go deeper into the, the purpose and how to activate our purpose and how to go deeper into our purpose, all right? So let me just check who's in. 
I'm committed. Yes, beautiful family opening to infinite possibilities. Yes. Yes. Hello, beautiful souls. Hey, Margaret, Michael. Kanika, Sage, Mark, Helen, Parvin, Donata, Ryan. Beautiful guys. I'm, I'm happy to see so many of you that have asked me already to give other possibilities, to see you here. For me, that's commitment, you know, because many times we're like, I want to do that and I dream to be this or do that. But are we really committed? Are we really showing up? Are we really doing the work? Because we can say whatever we want, but are we doing the work? Like, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm part of many groups just to see how people get inspired and how people, you know, like, I love the sense of community and, and, and I love always feeling how community gets you know, aligned and, and, and inspired by each other. But I was thinking this morning, I received, like, I've been receiving, I'm part of, like, this group of whatever law of attraction, right? Because I'm all about manifestation, right? But I'm like, oh, let's see what this group is about. And, like, in the last two days, they've just posted about, hey, comment below uh, that you're committed. And at 12 p.m., you're going to receive news that you have all your debts gone and everything has disappeared. And, Comment below, abundance, and you wake up in the morning, and your bank will change, and you will have abundance in your bank. And there's thousands of people commenting like, abundance, I'm in, I'm committed, yeah. And I'm like, okay, this is, this is good. Like, it's a good energy, right? It's good. But guys, like, really, do you have the mentality that all of a sudden you're going to win the lottery or like just money's going to show up through your door and say, hey, you've been such a good person. Here's the money for you, right? Like, hey, all your so all your debts are sold because you wrote that and you really believe it. So it's a miracle. It happened, you know? Like, you know, I've been there too, guys, and I suffered a lot. And this is maybe some of you will unfriend me because I'm saying this, because I'm, I'm kind of bringing you out of your fantasy. But I want to say, like, I did this for many years. I've tried so much because I've been about manifestation. And I can say just by affirmation, and just by affirming on a group and saying like, if I'm not doing the work, if I'm not changing myself, if I'm not opening up to infinite possibilities, if I'm not, not constantly catching myself up, where am I in scarcity? Where am I contracting in life, right? How can I invoke abundance in my life? And if, let's say you would win the, the lottery, as it has happened with many people all over the world, and you know this, right? Even if you won the lottery, you wouldn't have the container for that money. People lose that money in a sec. You know money, how it can flow, right? And if you don't have the right structure, you'll disappear. And all of a sudden, you have the same lifestyle with the same thoughts, with the same relationships, with the same emotions, with the, the same life as before. But now worst, because <laughs> you tasted what it was to have luxury, material luxury. Now you don't have it anymore. You don't know how to achieve it or how to manifest it. And now you are really feeling stuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because we don't embody the lifestyle of abundance, which is not buying expensive cars and eating this kind of food and like all that is a result. An abundance lifestyle is the one that you're catching yourself constantly. Where am I limiting myself? Where am I feeling I'm not good enough? Where am I feeling I, I can't achieve that? I don't deserve that. People don't love me. I can't do that. This is too big of a vision for me. I don't know. I have no new ideas coming through. Whatever your limiting beliefs are, if you're stuck in that, it doesn't matter how many affirmations you say. Guys, I promise you, I did it many years. It's not going to work. You need to embody it. Once you embody an expansive lifestyle where you're constantly expansive, where you are energetic, where you're inspired, where you're joyful, where you are someone people want to be around with. They just, they just want to be around you. They want to learn from you. They want to know more from you. But it's because of the vibe you have. It's because of the lifestyle you have embodied. It's not because of the books you read. It's not because of the money you have. I mean, some people come because of the money you have. But is that the people you want? People that want you because of your money? Like, right? 
once you've embodied the abundance lifestyle, you're it, right? And you're in full expansion. All the possibilities, new people with a lot of possibilities for your life, new experiences, but because you're not like, in the same box, thinking in the same way, feeling in the same way, manifesting the same relationships and the same things, you're open now. You're not stuck, right? And that's why if you really want to change yourself, right, and you want to change the world, you got to start from within. And you got to start from like, let me look at my limiting beliefs. Where am I stuck in my past? Where am I stuck in like, that happened to me and I'm a victim mode. It happened to me instead of like it happened through me so I can grow more and I can share more with the world. Because you know what, guys? You're already living your purpose, whatever you're doing. And I know you relate your purpose with money. That's good. That's good. Yes, purpose is related to money as a result. But it's not about money. There's a way before to do than thinking about money. Because when you're thinking about, I need to manifest money, usually you disconnect from your purpose. Because your goal is money. When you, when you really sink into where you're at right now, and how your life has been, I, I want to remind you something, guys. Your story and what you've lived is very important. And it's going to teach so many people just by being you, by talking about it, by sharing with them, by owning it, by forgiving, forgiving others, forgiving yourself, telling it from a place of not dramatic or judgment, just, just you know, letting people know what you've been through, just opening your vulnerability. That is one of the deeper layers of your purpose. Being you, just who you are. Not trying to be, not achieving something, not... Because once you sink into that, that you are already and you've always been, it's your essence, it's your soul, it's your vibration, it's your innate frequency, and it's always been there. It's your blueprint, right? We call it the soul blueprint. It's always been there. The thing is, we may be far from it because we've been lost in ego and whatever material world out there, right? Because we've been doing it the wrong way. We've trying to achieve stuff from the outside world in. And it was the other way, guys. It's from the inside out. So once you get to know yourself and you get to accept wherever you're at and you get to see yourself and see your gifts and see your limiting beliefs, and see your story and love your past whatever that happened instead of fighting it instead of hiding it like you see me I show up in full vulnerability you know whatever has happened in my life I, I come and share it with you guys and this is why you guys feel connected to me too and this is why I feel you because then you write to me and you're telling me your story and you're telling me how touched you are because of what I share. And we share humanness. It doesn't matter where we are in the world. It doesn't matter what name we have. It doesn't matter how much money we have or not. It doesn't matter. Nothing else matters more than the moment, the present moment and you sharing from your heart. That is the deepest service you can do to the planet right now. There are so many people sharing a mask something they're not and they're creating this whole illusion this whole fantasy which makes them feel good in the moment but empty inside because they know it's not the truth and then when other people see it they're just like oh whatever i don't even want to see that i just feel envy i just feel jealousy I, I, this doesn't inspire me this doesn't touch me because they're not feeling the humanness you can share your accomplishments you can share your wins that's Great, let's celebrate them together. I celebrate them with you guys too. But the thing is, are we being raw and real with our family, with our friends? Raw and real. What's really going on in, in your life? Have you shared that with someone? 
How are you feeling? How are you feeling right now in your life? I would love to hear from you. Let's share. I can tell you from my side, I've been a little bit overwhelmed. I just finished a 10 day retreat with 100 people, planting trees and receiving masterminds and receiving speakers from all over the world. We had 30 countries here in the nest. It was the first retreat we did. It was, it was overwhelming, actually. There's a lot that was going on and we're now setting the space to do our next retreat. And it's amazing, I feel so empowered, but I've been, uh, you know, transforming a lot of overwhelm energy. You know, it's like <gasps> between like feeling so good about it and also wanting things to go faster than how they're going. You know, it's my humanness. My humanness comes through and it's okay. I accept it, but I transform it. I don't get myself uh, taken by it. But I can share it with you guys and say, whoa, yeah, it's been a challenging, you know, special couple of months to prepare this for 100 people coming to the land for the first time. You guys know I've been living on this land. We've been living here for a year and a half and it's been a lot of work and it's 600 acres of land plus, right? It's a lot of land, a lot of work to do, a lot of trees to plant, a, a lot of of. of of things going on here, 30 workers I'm taking care of, you know, and seeing that everything is done, three ma huge machines moving, uh, you know, and opening spaces and, and, and just creating, creating a heaven on earth, but it, it takes a lot of work and presence, right? And then, um, of course, sometimes that's like too much on my plate and I feel overwhelmed, right? And it's something I work on every day because if I don't work on it, I, yesterday, I got together with all the workers and I told them, hey guys, this is how I'm feeling. This is where I'm at. And they were all like, oh my God, you thought you were this and this and that and that and that and all these things. And I'm like, guys, from the bottom of my heart, this is what's going on right now. And it feels so good to share with you all. We got to connect so deeply, guys. We went into like, and there's mostly men, right? So it was like this man connection. They started sharing like stuff that was happening with their families, stuff that was happening with themselves, like emotions they were going through that they, you know, they felt safe. And when one feels safe, all the possibilities open up for you because you feel good. You're like, oh, okay, I'm at home. I'm at family. This feels good, right? And this is the energy we have been cultivating here between us too. And this is the energy that I invite you to share with your family, with your friends, with your people. That's like the first layer of your purpose, right? Embody who you are, your essence, your soul, your brightness, embody. And at the same time, acknowledge the shadows. Acknowledge the low vibrations, acknowledge the low emotions that come and go, you know, share them so you can let them go, so you can release them, don't carry them anymore, right? Be more yourself, raw and real. And that, when you have that, that layer of your purpose, guys, everything else is going to roll. You're going to understand more and more who you are and why you're here. Right, And you can keep on your companies. I have a lot of clients, you know, coming that have huge companies and, 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 and making lots of money and they don't, they're not tapped into their purpose. I'm like, okay, keep that rolling. That's good. That's going to support you, you know, and you don't have to worry about now starting a career as a coach, you know, but let's figure out what you really love, where your really heart is, you know, and it's, it's all these people that have been mentally very efficient, and have focused so much energy on accomplishments and creating, but it's, it's from a place of emptiness. It's not from a place of inspiration. So they've been actually working all this time very hard, you know, and been pushing, pushing, pushing. And disconnected, they're like, but I'm empty. I don't feel anything. I don't feel inspired. You know, anything that inspires me, it's money, but then, then I realized that with money, I can't buy happiness. So again, I'm in the same, I've, I've had everything in my life and then I'm in the same space, you know? They realize, they come to the beginning, which is who are you? Beyond of what you're doing, beyond of where you are in the world, beyond your name, beyond your family, beyond your story from the past, who are you? Have you ever asked yourself that question? And, and once you start going deep into like connecting with your essence, your soul and the qualities of your soul that are innate, they're in you. And you start acknowledging them and loving them 
and loving those parts of yourself, then you can be softer with the parts that you don't like about yourself, the parts that you judge about yourself, right? Once you start really entering that space of inner glow, that inner presence, right? Instead of calling it God, I just call it presence, why not? Source, presence, flow, energy, infinite love. Call it whatever you want, but being in that space, surrender into that space, giving yourself time to just, just breathe and acknowledge the gift of just being alive, of being in a body, of being you. Even if you still don't know your gifts, even if you still don't know why you're here, it doesn't matter. Just acknowledging who you are and knowing that everything's inside of you and that it's all going to be revealed if you allow yourself to feel safe. I come back to the same word. We need to feel safe in order to open up. It's the only way to open up in intimate relationships, in community, in, 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 in business relationships. It doesn't matter. You bring it in. Ask me. It's all the same. Once you feel safe, your nervous system is safe. It's calmed down. You're not pushing. You're not surviving. You're not fighting. You know, you're not defending yourself. <sighs> you let people in. And people offer new possibilities, offer love, offer energy, offer money, offer, you know, just bringing you to, to, to speak somewhere or teach somewhere or partner with you. or It doesn't matter, but you're open, you're receiving, you're permeable. It's something energetic. You don't have to put a sign on yourself saying like, hey, I'm permeable, I'm open, you know? It's like that permeability that happens when you feel safe, when you feel at home. There's no bigger gift than feeling at home in your own body, in your own life, right? Please share with me if you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure you felt that at some point in your life and you're like, oh, this feels so good. I don't even need anyone or anything to feel this love, to feel this wholeness, like, oh my God. And you know what? Record at a cellular level. Record, remember. When you have these moments, remember because we're so used to depend on the outside world to be happy, on someone or something, anything outside of us, we give our power away. That's why now the new earth, what's, what's happening right now, we're creating a new earth, a new humanity, right? We're coming back to that connection of love, that connection of abundance for all, the win for all. It's time to win for all, not just few families on the planet. It's time for all of us to empower ourselves and become the leaders that we're born to be. Doesn't matter where you were born. Doesn't matter your name. That's just a story, guys. We're all leaders as parents, as teachers, as friends, as individuals. You're the leader of your own life. You choose. You choose your life. You choose what to eat. You choose how to breathe. You choose how your posture is. You choose what movies to watch. You choose what music to listen to. You choose what books to read or not to read. You choose everything. You choose your relationships. Guys, you are the responsible and only responsible of your life. Anything that's happening in your life right now, let's release the blaming the victimizing the it's because of this or that because every time you blame it on someone else or you put it out there you are kind of pushing it away instead of seeing yourself or parts of yourself why you have manifested that in your life what's going inside of you you put your power away from yourself. So it's because of that person. It's because I didn't have money. It's because um, I never had the right friends. It's because you can find all the excuses I know because I've been there, right? And those excuses all just bring you away from your purpose because your purpose is just your innate calling. It's your vibration. And the only way to cultivate your inner vibration is by being raw 
and real. Wherever you're at, looking at yourself, okay, this is my life right now, all right, can I love myself where I'm at right now? I'm asking you, can you love yourself where you're at right now? In this moment, looking at your bank account, looking at your relationships, at your house, looking at your health, everything. Can you stop for a second and just acknowledge and, 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 and honor yourself right now and breathe, breathe with me? And just be grateful for wherever you're at right now. Grateful for your life. Grateful for being present in this community, in this live stream, in this replay that you're watching maybe. Just take your time to acknowledge that and go back to basics. Just the bliss of, of being alive and awake beyond any story beyond any circumstances that can change, any circumstances that can be transformed so fast from one second to the other. So just breathe into that and breathe into the infinite possibilities that open up once you are present, once you are focused and centered. Once you surrender to the presence of this universal energy flowing through you right now. Just sharing this space of silence and loving yourself No matter what, no matter where you're at right now, thank you, thank you, thank you, I've known you've done your best. Thank you for all the work you've done till now. Thank you for constantly looking and opening up and constantly trying and Constantly working on yourself in whatever way that is. Thank you for all the efforts you've done, for everything you've accomplished till now. Even everything you've tried to accomplish. Thank you for every failure. Thank you for every judgment. Thank you for every challenge. Thank you. Thanks to all of that, I am who I am. I've built that inner resiliency. I have the experience I have. I have the story that I have to share with the world. Thank you. I honor that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Bring your hands to your heart. Just acknowledging yourself, just loving yourself through all your past, through all your story. Take a deep breath. Hold that breath. And then release. Deep breath. Hold that breath. And then release. And this time, whatever you want to call into your life, I am love, I am energy, I am abundance, I am light, I am expansion. Whatever you feel to call into your life, deep breath. Stretch your arms, stretch them open. Zip it in through your mouth, bring more air. Expand even more. And then receive. And just receive, just be present through everything that's available to you right now. Mm. And coming back gently from this space of vulnerability, from this space of being open and available.
from this space we relate guys from this space we're raw and real and when you're living in this space you are living your purpose and you're gonna find something out that the more you can share from this space with the world the more you'll see that you're here to serve many times we think that serving or coaching or helping others you, you require so much training and you have to know so much and you have to speak in a certain way and like all these like concepts that we have that are limiting beliefs you know because all the souls every soul on this planet has the codes the frequencies to serve others to help others and it's not because of what you learn and what you know and how good you speak it's because you have the ability to tap into yourself and speak from a vulnerable space and share your story and that helps so way more than any philosophy any book anything any speaker can tell you from here out because there's a lot of talking heads out there you know sharing a lot of philosophies but the question is are they really embodying it are they sharing their vulnerability are they are they being real with their lives or are they different when nobody's watching you know that's a big question to ask and, and that's the question i ask myself all the time that's the question i ask you like are you being raw and real and vulnerable in your life right now? And can you share that vulnerability with others wherever you're at? And once you share that, just observe what that, how people respond to that. They're going to love you. They're going to open up so much. They're going to feel so close to you. And all of a sudden, you're like, oh my God, it's so easy to help others just by being me. Just by sharing whatever. It's all perfect. When you share that, you just get closer and closer and closer to people and, and you build family. And this is the, the community we're building here, right? That's why you guys are showing up. Even if it's your first time, you can feel, look at all the comments, guys. People here that show up are real. It's the real deal, guys. We, 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 we are here to live real lives, not just social media lives, like real lives. And we, if we have something going on, we, we come and share it and we come and ask the question and we come and upgrade and we come and show up. Because it's the only way to upgrade our lives, showing up and being real. If not, it's just an illusion. You know, we're just playing a game and we're still empty inside and we're still keeping the music inside of us. We're not sharing our music, our gifts, our codes that we brought to the world. They're waiting for us to say yes. But it starts all with vulnerability. That's your first step of purpose activation. Your connection to just the bliss of being without doing it's not about the doing from there acknowledging your shadows also not running away from them not faking that they're not there okay there's some wounds there's some stuff going on that i don't like about myself all right let me look at it let me shift it but i need to look at it to shift it how am i going to shift it i can't fake it till i make it you know that's that's way 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 gone you know that worked at the beginning of I don't know, 10 years ago, but it doesn't work, guys. It's not real. Fake it till you make it. Embody it, right? So I would love to know from you guys what's, what's, um, what's going on in your life right now. What's, what's, what's like the, the, the deepest emotion, maybe negative emotion vibrating in your body lately? Like, let's get raw and real since we're talking about this and we want to talk about scholarships and we want to talk about helping others. That's why not just open up a little bit. I talked to you. I shared with you. I've been overwhelmed and I've been like with a lot of things on my plate and feeling like moments of anxiety and moments like wanting everything to go faster than how I wanted them to go faster. And, you know, just seeing how my mind gets on the way, my ego gets on the way and I get a little bit impatient, but, you know, working through that and, um, seeing myself like just how i can come back to that but th those have been like the emotions i've been i've been going through lately i would love to hear from you okay anxiety let me hear here i feel unloved and left mm. Thank you for sharing. Fear overwhelmed with a partner who's controlling and fear himself. I am exhausted. The constant feel of fear of not achieving my purpose. Oh man, this last week has, has been crazy. I went into a big down spiral, depression, big time. 
overwhelmed, fear and threat swirling below the surface. Wow, yeah, guys, I get a lot of imposter syndrome that I want to get rid of, feels like it's never enough. Oh, wow, I get you. Stuck in hope, finding on out what's my purpose. Thank you, Juanpa. I have ex anxious attachment style and my, boy my boyfriend also is avoidant. It doesn't work. I have been going through the roughness of moving from my comfort zone. Right now, I'm working on patience not to burn myself out. Sometimes I feel uncertain. It's not all the time, but the thought comes sometimes. Yeah. Mm. Oh, guys, I feel you. Thank you for sharing. Yeah. You know, I've been, I've been through all of that stuff. You know, we're, we're human. So it's just different parts of the journey. I've been feeling dark and anxious, want to find my purpose, feeling very stuck procrastination Ooh, that's been a big one for me thank you for sharing numbing myself to reality and it keeps me from stepping into faith and my purpose rather than working for someone else's purpose oh yeah habits and outer things as dependence oh yeah mm -hmm. thank you guys thank you for sharing fear of stepping into a bigger purpose yes being vulnerable being visible trusting my body and i and am i really enough when i'm not able to do it anxiety and fear around health working through the ego not trusting my intuition to follow my purpose yes procrastination oh yeah we all have had some of that right and it's so easy to fall into procrastination at the end all of these emotions you're you're talking about once we feed them um they become procrastination because they grow bigger instead of us transforming them they grow bigger right and then we're like oh my god we're really stuck in that emotion in a loop and we don't know how to get out of it and maybe we, we we can get out of it for a while but then it comes back and then we come out of it and then it comes back but guys isn't it tired after a while like to keep coming on the loop over and over and over all of the above overwhelmed always rushing without catching up lack of deeply raw and real and authentic with others overwhelmed everything that everyone has said and and some more finally found my balance and it's brought to me yeah i know yeah and i can tell you you find your balance but don't put you know all 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 your money on that balance you know don't trust that oh you're gonna live your life of balance it's it's not real guys whenever you hear someone saying like oh i've lived in balance like the last two years, it's been perfect. I'm always inspired. I'm always full of energy. I'm always, I wouldn't trust that person too much, you know? Or they're running away from themselves or they're just looking out there and they're, you know, almost like running this loop of, of, of really bypassing their humanity, you know? And, and really, you know, owning parts of themselves that sooner or later come up. So it's great. I'm not saying, of course, celebrate when you feel good, but don't, don't, don't think that that's that feeling good and that celebration. I'm so happy. I'm so amazing. Yes, I feel so inspired. That can go like that, you know, and we're not even attached to that because it, it's not even about like, oh, my life is just happiness. That's, that's not real, guys. My life is just inspiration. That's impossible. If you're human, you can't live just in bliss. That's not true. And this is one of the problems I see, guys. I, I see many people, for example, people come and do some quantum flow, right? They do like the three-day like um, free challenge or they do the 14-day immersion, right? And they come and they feel it in their body so much. And all of a sudden, I see their posts or I see them showing up in a way like, yeah, I'm living in abundance right now. It feels so good. My life changed completely. I'm completely another person. Now I really believe in myself. They go from one extreme to the other. Because they feel so good, of course. Quantum flow gets you in that state, which is amazing. You, you transform your emotions. It's really good. But guys, that doesn't mean that now you're claiming that you are an abundance coach and that you can help others do the same and that now your life is perfect and you have the perfect relationships and the perfect money and the perfect things. And sometimes we do it in order to like, let me manifest it so I'm going to claim it to the world. But guys, be careful. Because once you come back and you got to pay the bills and once you come back and you look that your partner is not what you're sharing or you're claiming to be, once that you, you, you bring your feet back to the, to the ground and you see yourself, 
it's gonna be a, a big a big hit you know you're gonna feel very disappointed and very disconnected and, and depressed you're gonna feel depressed because you've been putting all this in this fantasy land which feels really good but you gotta do a constant work to get to that fantasy land to make it a reality as we said before you can win the lottery and you can have an amazing breath work session or an amazing meditation and all of a sudden you're like in heaven right i've been in heaven so many times but can we bring that heaven to earth? Can we embody that on our daily lives? It's not just about the moment you do the class. It's not just about the moment you do, you're in this live stream and it feels good. The moment you go to a retreat and it feels good. That's easy, guys. What really matters is how you put this philosophy on your everyday life. That's the real deal. That's, that's when I always tell my students. It's like, that's when the retreat really starts. The retreat is not even when we're here together, you know? It's when you leave the retreat, how do you apply that lifestyle and start really embodying everything you've been embodying for three, five, seven, nine days, right? So that, that, that's the thing, not getting lost in that of illusion that, oh, life is just blissful and beautiful. Life is just inspiration. Like, that can be, you know, a new woo-woo Agey, new agey, woo-woo kind of philosophy that I see a lot of people out there, you know, dressed in white and it's all love and like, oh, beloved, I love you so much and it's all perfect and I have nothing to look at because I'm enlightened already and my life is just love and inspiration and happiness. Be careful of those people, guys. Be really careful. Those are the ones that then are going to go to the other extreme sooner or later or or you know, it's just not going to go well because sooner or later that humanity comes up and, and actually they're not really, you know, you don't feel raw and real with them. You don't feel you can be you with them. You know what I mean? Like it's very important to say, um, I can be human with you. I can be all of me with you. Thank you. And I know that with you guys. I've come, I've shared about my mother, I've shared about my health, I've shared about whatever I'm going through, Right? I come and share it with you guys. I have, I have nothing to hide. Why would I want to hide? If, if I know the ego is the one that wants to hide something. If you want to hide something and not tell someone or, you know, like even, you know, your intimate people, maybe you don't have to tell it on a Facebook live, right? I'm just like that because it liberates me. When I tell something and I, and I open up, it just, I feel my ego melts down, you know, because I'm exposing my ego instead of hiding it and trying to cover it and trying to, 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 to justify it and defend it and react it and say, no, that's not the way it is. Let me show you why you are the one that's wrong, you know. <laughs> that's just the ego defending. You're just feeding the ego instead of like, Oh, okay, let me look into that. Oh, you know what? Let me actually share some vulnerability. Let me share some thoughts that have been coming that are not of the highest. Let me share some emotions that I don't feel very proud of. But, you know, that's what's coming through right now, right? They just start melting away. You feel so much liberation. And I promise you, it's way more liberating than you keeping the mask and trying to be in a certain way that you're not. You get me? And look how good you feel. When you start sharing here, guys, look at all the comments, please, of what everyone has sh shared. How good does it feel that we can be here sharing, being ourselves? Maybe today you're super inspired and tomorrow you feel sad and, and it's okay. We love you anyway. You don't have to be in a different way, right? That's the beauty of being human and being with people that know that and have accepted that humanity in them. Yeah? So... Yeah, let's, uh, let's go back to purpose. And I would love to know um, how we can um, support you on your purpose. Any question that you have before I leave, I want to answer it around the purpose, okay? That's the first thing. Then I also want to share about the scholarships. Why are we giving scholarships? Okay, guys, I have been studying all the personal development all the everything you know connected to spirituality and um, abundance and expansion and growth and personal growth and you know all of it I've been committed since I'm nine years old you know because of my my brother right and I I wanted to heal him with my parents and I went to I did everything he was doing because I wanted to support him right I'm supporting my family and I didn't understand much but I did it you know I was doing you know meditations and and doing laughing therapy and stuff when I was like 12 years old you know like 
crazy stuff I did with my parents and you know it, it's been my journey and I've seen how it's changed my life and so many people's lives right and after studying all this and studying neuroscience and going deep into like what really helps people change their lives for real not because they're claiming it not because they do a meditation and now they feel good or they do a yoga class and now they feel good in the moment not something just to like put a band-aid on but something that will change them forever and for me I've been like going deep into what really works is whatever is gonna bring you to your natural state who you really are there's nothing I'm giving you there's nothing anyone can give you all you can receive is the tools that are necessary for you to come back to your natural state which is peace and love and balance and harmony and having energy and um, being inspired and being creative and, and love and expansion and being you. That's your natural state being authentically you right and we stop that because of the process since we're born this is not good um teachers tell us what's correct and what isn't our parents tell us what is right and what is wrong we feel judgment from people outside and we start getting into this box and we start disconnecting from our purpose from our essence from our soul right and we start contracting our nervous system right and our brain is like oh you know everything kind of contracts and even though we want to study and we want to memorize and we want to learn a lot of things we're not accessing our inner wisdom because it's kind of raveled up it's kind of like in, in, in a little knot inside of us. So what I've seen with all this work for so many years and studying so many different like neurosciences, neuroplasticity, hypnotherapy, NLP, um, quantum physics, like everything that's applied to the human being and its lifestyle, I found that we got to go straight to the, to the memory. Release the memory from the past. Release the memory from your nervous system because it's all in your nervous system. So I've been focusing on how to rewire your nervous system and rewire your beliefs at the same time. That's where it, it's at, guys. It's not only mindset. Mindset is amazing. But if you want to really embody that, you got to change it from within, from your nervous system, from your brain, not only your mentality. Mentality is great, and I'm all about philosophy and science, but we got to embody it. It has to become part of you. you got to walk it, breathe it, be it, right? And this is why we open up to the Quantum Flow Institute, and we open up to sharing quantum flow with the world, because we want it to share the possibilities, seeing that it has helped so many people from all over the world. It doesn't matter their nationality. It doesn't matter how much money they have. It doesn't matter where they were born and, and what are they doing in their life. It helps them. And I've worked with orphanages, you know, in different parts of the world. And I've worked with like YPOs from Dubai and the most, the, the richest countries in the world. And it works for everyone. There's no difference. Humans are all the same. Okay, and that's why I'm like, okay, since we have this going on right now and we're starting actually now the certification, right, that's starting right now, I'm like, I want to offer whoever is committed to helping themselves, helping their families and helping their communities, really helping them, like from the core, for real, change whatever is holding you back forever so you can feel it and be the best version of yourself, right? If you're feeling the call to do that, even if you've never done it, I don't care. I wanna hear about you because I'm offering three scholarships, okay? And they're not related to how much you've done, how famous you are in social media, I don't care. It's related to why you want to do that. Why do you want to help the world? And who can you help right now? I would love to know. If you want to help your family or your mom that's going through an illness right now or you want to help a school that it's nearby and you want to help them feel more happy and more connected or you want to help, um, you know, go to a jail and teach on a jail and help, help raise their spirit and, and connect with their soul. I don't care what your vision is. I want to nurture your vision because quantum flow, it's not my vision, guys. It's not my thing. Like it's a methodology that I've put all the sciences and all the ancient wisdom I've been studying since I'm nine years old, right? 
But it's for the world. It's not for me. I don't claim it. It's for the world. So I want it to be shared. And I want to see more lives being changed. I already have witnessed thousands of lives. I want to witness more. I feel it's a great way to help humanity. So I want to ask you, if you're really into it, if you're really into changing your life and someone else's life, I want to hear your story. Why do you want the scholarship? I want to know why. When have you done quantum flow? And if you haven't done quantum flow, just let me know so I can share some, you know, free stuff that we have so you can feel it. If you're, you know, tapping into this for the first time. So we can share some, some knowledge with you so you can feel it, right? In 10 minutes, you'll know if it's for you or not. That's how powerful it is. And um, so when have you done Quantum Flow and what program have you done with me? Even if it's a free webinar or workshop, whatever, like I would love to know. Okay. And how are you going to share it? What's your vision? I want to hear your vision. Okay. Even if it's, if you feel it's ambitious, even if you feel like it's too much for you, even if it, I want to support your vision because you know what? They supported my vision. They supported my vision when I was, you know, just working on a community, 21 years old, helping people from the streets and, you know, helping myself, helping others. And I really found my purpose to help, to serve. And I remember talking to one of the spiritual guides that we have that would come and go to the community, right? And um, I would tell him like, hey, I, I just want to commit and serve like my whole life. I don't, I don't even care how, I don't even know how it's going to happen, but I just, I just feel that it's my path and it just feels amazing. And all he told me is like, just remember, remember who you are. Remember the love that's flowing through you. Always. No matter what happens outside of you, always come back to the love that's inside of you. The love that makes your heart beat. And those words stay with me always. So in all the challenging situations, no matter how horrible the situation was, I was like, let me come back to my heart. I want to hear my heart beat. Let me come back to my breath. Ah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And after a while, I would find peace. I would find this space of like the depths of the ocean, you know. No matter how much waves were coming and exploding, you know, our regular life, there's so many challenging situations. I would always tap in to the depths of the ocean that didn't depend on the waves, on the external circumstances, right? I learned more to live in a vertical axis and not get lost in the horizontal axis, right? This horizontal axis is your circumstances and it depends on the outside world, which is great. But if you don't have that vertical connection, you will be like a, a feather that, that's taken by the wind one way to the other, right? So, so yeah, guys, that's where I started doing the real work on myself and trusting my inner calling that I just love helping others. I love serving others. I, I, I know I'm here to contribute to a better world. That's all I knew, even though I didn't know how. And I, that's where my journey started, you know, but I had to accept it. I had to say yes to it. And if you're in that space, I welcome you. I want to hear your story. Tell me why, why you're in that space. Why, why you're being called? How do you want to serve? Like, what are you doing right now? And, and how do you want to take it to the next level? Even if you're a healer, if you're a coach, if you're a, you know, if you're a yoga teacher, Qigong teacher, we have teachers from all, all modalities that come when they do this training, they take whatever they're doing to the next level because they open up even more to what they already know. And, and these teachings are aligned to, you know, all the Toltec teachings, all the yoga philosophy, all, all the kinesiology, all the entrepreneurial mindset, all the... Um, Ayurveda, it's uh, aligned to um, Tantra, it's aligned to um, uh, hypnotherapy, NLP, all the quantum science philosophies. It's all aligned. It's all the same universal principle. So it doesn't matter where you're coming from. Once you get on the path and you understand it, 
and you understand the seven stages of quantum flow, guys, I promise you, you're going to rock it. And everything you're doing right now in your life is going to make sense. And you're going to take it to the next level. It's inevitable. That's, that's the story from hundreds of students that are already teaching this. They're actually teachers of this method. And they're teaching it online and all over the world. So it's, it definitely uh, takes your work to the next level. The thing is, how committed are you? Because it is... It is a, a, a certain level of commitment, you know? It's eight weeks that we go deep together, and you have to have at least two to three hours a week available. It can be 20, 30 minutes a day, but you know, you gotta be present for yourself and your process, and really be open to release whatever's holding you back, to look at yourself, to be run real with yourself, and to let go. If you know that's holding you back, you're going to let it go in every way possible. All the procrastination, all the self-sabotage, all the distraction, mental fogginess, uh, unhappiness, impatience, like all of it. You're going to learn how to release it from your body. And then that's going to teach you how to release these emotions. Whenever they come, you don't get stuck in them anymore. That's what I was telling you. It's like, I, it's not that I don't get emotional right now. I do feel frustrated here and there. I do feel anxious. I do feel impatient, especially right now in my life. But I've learned how to shift that, right? So I've become like an alchemist on that, yeah? And that's what you can do too. Not because you're more special than me or whatever. It's just because that is your birthright. That's who you are, yeah? And we want to teach you that. Not only me, but the whole community of the Quantum Flow Institute. So yeah, guys, if you're feeling called to ask for a scholarship, please, I would love to hear from you. Who are you? Yeah, I want to know from you. Why do you want to change the world? Starting with your family. It doesn't have to be a big vision. It can be your family because your mom is sick. My mom is actually sick right now. And I'm helping her with quantum flow and a lot of other things. But... It's helped her so much. Her her energy has shifted like 10x, you know? So it can be that. And I honor that too, you know? So it can be who do you want to help in your life or who you want to help around you, you know? Or, or which community you want to help. I want to hear from you, okay? That's very important. And where also I want to know, where did you find Quantum Flow for the first time? Have you done it? Have you felt it? What inspired you for this scholarship because I don't want to give a scholarship to someone that maybe it's like oh you know what this is not my thing and and I uh, sorry I kind of got mistaken I have so many plans to change the world and change myself but you know it's not my thing so okay then uh, that opportunity of scholarship is lost so I don't want that to happen I need to know that you have done that before all right so I'll be watching here I'm taking all the notes here guys um, in Instagram, what we, what we can do, if you want to know more information about Quantum Flow and you want um, um, we're going to ask you to send an email, okay? So just comment below with Quantum Flow. Actually, guys, please comment below with Quantum Flow and we will share with you the email because once I put the Instagram off, this is going to be deleted. So I'm, I'm not going to have all the comments that I'm here right now. So write down quantum flow so we can send you the information and you can write an email right we will connect with you guys so you can follow up and uh here in facebook too guys just write quantum flow if you're interested if you're interested in the training if you're interested in the scholarship you know you can write down quantum flow scholarship or quantum flow training and we'll share with you all the details we're, we're starting right now so yes i would love love to know about you and see all the possibilities. Let me look at. Wow, so many comments, guys. Wow, this is what I want to hear, guys. This inspires me so much, like hearing you guys say why you want to change the world, why you want to take your life to the next level. Oh, I love it so much. Wow, so many comments. I'm going to take a read after, guys, because it's a lot coming through here. I love it so much so much thank you for all your participation i see you guys here too so please write quantum flow scholarship if you want to know more about the scholarship or just quantum flow if you want to know in general because also if there's no scholarship and you still want to do the training there's many ways we can support you guys okay we're here to support you 
I'm all about the people, the community, you know? So if I, if I can support you and support humanity in any way, that's why I'm here. And, uh, and thank you for saying yes. That's all you need to do. Say yes and, and we can figure it out together. All right? So I'm seeing a lot of quantum flow, quantum flow. Yeah. And you can write here after. Um, there's going to be the replay. I'm going to be sharing. Another thing that I ask you if you want to um, apply for a scholarship is to share this live stream. The, the, um, the team is going to just see that you are sharing. You know, if you want to participate in one of the scholarships, we want to share this with as many people as possible. So please share this, this live stream, guys. It's going to help for us to take this work and help more people. And if this scholarship works, like next time I'm going to be, if, if I see this works and it's appreciated and we have, um, you know, like good experience with this, we're going to open up more. And I'm going to do a way that we balance out so we can give more scholarships. That's, that's my mission in the world, guys. I want to I wanna support as many people as possible. And I know we're coming to a time where we can't depend on money, you know. So I want to make it available to people that in this moment don't have money. But I tell you, after if you're committed and you start teaching quantum flow and you start teaching online and stuff, you can open up so many possibilities in your life, guys. Your life will be taken to the next level and you will start embodying abundance because you will have one of the most powerful technologies to help humanity. And that means you will be compensated for that. They will pay you for that, you know? So sooner or later, your, your state is going to shift too. So it's not only about giving others and being in service, but also loving yourself and, and knowing what you deserve and, and what kind of life you deserve in the world. You know, I travel the world 20 countries a year, guys. And, um, you know, it's my lifestyle and, uh, and I love it. I get to help so many people. I get to work with so many people and I work online. I don't even need a space. Now I'm building a center, which is something I also manifested. This center here in Costa Rica where people will come visit me and, and be here with me and Regan, right? But um, it's because I've been very focused on, on my vision and opening up and releasing all my limiting beliefs that were holding me back, you know? and sabotaging myself and procrastinating myself and like not really feeling good enough for me to manifest the life that I'm manifesting, you know, and I'm expanding into it every day. I don't claim I'm, I'm arrived anywhere, you know. I'm manifesting and opening up to it because, you know what, my biggest vision is that we all live in abundance. My biggest vision is that we all embody, you know, the life we deserve and that we all live from our purpose. Like, that's the biggest vision of many of us right now, you know. The, the, the real leaders that I connect with in the world right now, not the ones that it's all about them, 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 but the ones that have the big picture of humanity. They're all in the same channel, guys. All the leaders that came here to the New Earth Immersion, we're all in the same channel. It's over 14 speakers that came and like they're already doing amazing things all over the world and we all are in the same page, guys. It's time to win for all. It's time to embody our greatness together, guys. That's the only way we're gonna do it. So we're doing it right now. And in my way to give back is to offer you this scholarship too. And this training too it's it's my biggest gift you know that i have now for humanity so so yeah guys i, I invite you to write why you want to do this training why you want to help yourself and others right and um where have you done quantum flow before i would love to know so i know that you really love it and that you're really into it and that you have seen you know the effects in yourself right i would love to hear that and also please share this live stream guys if you really want to participate in the scholarship share this live stream i'm going to ask you to tag people in here so please tag um, at least five people in this live stream even if it's the replay just tag them just let them know this is happening reach out to them not just tag them but let them know that um this is happening for the world and that we're helping the world this way and in this way you're contributing, you know, instead of being greedy like, oh, I'm not going to tell people because then we're going to be more participants and who's going to get the scholarship. That's not the, that's not the mentality, you know, the mentality right now. It's like, hey, guys, if it's meant to be for you, you're going to get it. I promise you. And if it's not this one, it's going to be the next one or, or something's going to happen. But there's all this energy that comes back to you when you're in this abundance philosophy. It's a way of life. 
it's living from a place of abundance and not from a place of scarcity of competition of comparison there's not enough for everyone they're gonna steal me my clients oh they're gonna steal me my place oh they're gonna you know like the one that's really not being beneficial it's you the one that's not really gaining abundance and living into abundance is you with that mentality you see so it's so good to see ourselves there and open up to the infinite possibilities that we have okay familia if you don't know how to tag it's just writing people names here you know you just write their name you put an uh, like an at you can see other people doing it I've, I've seen people doing it already so you can just put an at and then put the name of the person and that tags the person so that's how you do it here all right Okay, familia, let me know if you have any, any questions around, um, around the purpose and what I've been talking about. Oh my God, I'm seeing so many people wanting to do the training. Oh, this is so good, guys. I love it. I can't wait to see how many benefits we're going to have after this it feels so good thank you thank you so good to hear from you guys mm. yeah so let me know if you have any question around around that i would love to hear any questions that you have around purpose right now in your life spit it out come on i'm doing so coaching for free guys i, ch I charge thousands of dollars for half an hour coaching you know i've been doing it for 30 years so i you know like i help people shift like that but you gotta give it to me you gotta you gotta you gotta tell me like what are you going through so i can support you right whatever you're going through i can help you but you gotta let me know where you're at if not i can't help you and I, i'm doing it for free i'm not charging you anything i'm just here showing up for you guys so yeah let me know any question that you have Lots of people tagging. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, and if you tag people, just let them know what's going on and, and what's important. Why are we doing this? You know, it's it's very important. It's very important for us to know and to understand. Okay, I'm seeing no questions. It looks like you guys are very connected to, <laughs> to why you're here. I want to change generational blockages, my lineage and many more lineages around the world. That's beautiful. Um, Thomas, it works on the pineal gland completely. All the practices we do, Thomas, when you go deep, you're opening up the pineal gland. We're actually helping the pineal gland decalcify because, you know, we've talked about this before in other trainings, right? There's, a cal there's calcium around the pineal gland and that doesn't let you access your intuition. So many people are looking for the intuition and to have the vision and to open up, but you literally have to embody your intuition. It's not just going to happen, you know? You got to embody it and it happens in your brain. Yeah? Your pineal gland is your, like your inner crystal, you know? It's like your inner antenna that captures the codes, the frequencies that are available to you. But if your pineal gland is numb, if your pineal gland is numb, then you're not going to be able to, to access that. Wow, I've never heard this before. Who's calling? This is really weird. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, I don't see any questions in Facebook, but I see some questions here. In uh, My nervous system feels feels the block right around my neck and I feel the energy getting stuck in the back of my neck on my head how can I let, let the blocks I solve so the flow run, runs into the brain this is a really really good question and all you need to do is liberate this you know you got to liberate the jaw you know you can do it with a massage do it right now you liberate the jaw you're liberating the energy because the jaw is connected to your neck and all this becomes a block so no matter what, how much breath work you do, how much energy work you do, whatever you're doing, it's not passing into the brain because it's blocked right here. And this is our expression. This is our creativity, guys. This is where we purify, right? It's Vishuddha Chakra. This is where we open up to our intuition, to our connection with, right? Sun, heavens, uh, in, like 
all of it, right? Inner guidance, however you want to call that connection with whatever is available to us right now and the guidance that we have in our lives comes here. People think it's just here. It comes through here. So you got to release this, right? And this is a really good one to do, like really massaging your jaw, right? I don't know who's calling. I have no idea who's calling and why this is happening. I've never had this before. Because <laughs> I have it in the, in the focus, you know? So I don't know why they're calling. Whatever. So you release this and then something that's really good, you open your mouth. And then you move your 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 uh, head from side to side. Oh. Oh, 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 look at my mouth. I know I look crazy and ridiculous. Oh, 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 oh. But you start releasing that all that tension here, and then after you release that tension, working on the neck and shoulders. Right? There's many ways to release the neck and shoulders, but what's most important is the jaw. You gotta release your jaw. That's why in quantum flow, I'm always reminding you guys. Hey, release your jaw. There's no tension in your jaw. Relax it. Soften it. So you can allow the energy to go through the palate all the way up into the brain. It's very... Okay. Beautiful. Molly says, I would love to have guidance on why I keep playing small in my purpose. Yeah, Molly, this is related to um, beliefs. And you're playing small because there's still a part of you that feels that you don't deserve that. Even though, you know, I've seen you claim it and live it and go for it. Like, I've seen you and I've felt you. I felt you in the immersion and everything. Do it. But we still got to work deeper into the unconscious mind and release those parts that say, I don't deserve it. I'm, I'm not good enough. That's not going to happen. My vision is too big. Like, um, if something is not showing up for that, for us, no matter how much we're celebrating it, as, as I said before, we can celebrate like, I won the lottery and the lottery will come next day, you know? Like, we can do all the affirmations. But if we don't access, like, right into the core of what's going on and what's happening, you're going to keep manifesting the same. So if your reality outside of you, it's still the same, you got to work more on the alchemy, on looking at the blind spots, on being raw and real with yourself. And for that, you don't need to go into depression. You don't need to go, you know, that's the extreme. That's your soul taking you there because it's the only way for you to be vulnerable and real and accept where you're at right now instead of being in the cloud of like, I am pure abundance and this is what I'm manifesting and that's it, right? Like it's from one extreme to the other, but you don't need to go from one extreme to the other. You can live in a very centered space where it's like, okay, let me check in. Like what, what's, what's more to release here? What's more to open up? And, and once you open up and you see like your beliefs that, that are holding you back, Oh my God, it's so beautiful. You can do like everything you know around quantum flow, right? You, and you do yoga and you do breath. Like you have so many technologies, but you got to get to the core of that belief because you can do as much yoga as you want. If you're not accessing that belief, if you're not accessing the nervous system like straight to the point, you will feel good and balanced and harmony with yoga, but you won't do that change that comes from within where your nervous system is released. And once your nervous system and that body memory is released, that body armor is released, then you're in freedom. Then you're really feeling the freedom in every cell of your being. Then those beliefs are gone. They, 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 don't, even, they don't even appear. You're not vibrating in those beliefs anymore. But if you're still manifesting a certain lifestyle in your life, it's because there's still a part of you that's still there and it's attached to that still. Okay? I hope that helps. Let's see any other questions here. Okay, Juanpa, how do you talk to family who thinks you're crazy for having a vision? I follow my own path, but would love the support of my family, kids, grandkids. That's a big one, Teresa, and I think this is a big one for everyone. Um, the first thing is you are loyal to yourself. That's the most important. It's not about the people. It's about you. And the more you honor yourself and honor your process, you don't have to put it out there. You don't have to convince others. You don't, it's not about them. And I know we want their support, but which, one, which part of us wants their support? Really? Which part of us is looking for that support or looking for that 
approval or looking for that appreciation or that honoring from them. And I love it. I'm the first one. I want to do everything with my family. But sometimes they're not ready. It takes some time. Sometimes, you know, you, you, you read a book or you do a training or you do something and all of a sudden you saw the light and everything changed for you, right? So you're like, yes. And all of a sudden they're like, okay, this is kind of crazy. Like one month ago you weren't here. Now you expect all of us to just go with you because you now found this new philosophy or this new method or this new book, you know? <laughs> they're like, hey, it takes time for us to embody, to make it real. It takes time. So I would say... Follow your vision. Keep going. Keep going. Keep working on yourself. Keep doing your quantum flow. I know how committed you are to quantum flow. Keep doing that. Keep going deeper and deeper. That is going to ripple out after with time. It's going to ripple out. It's inevitable. But you got to keep doing the work. And then they'll come and approach you. Hey, oh my God, look at that. Now you manifested this. Now you created that. Oh my God, you look so bright you you look so joyful i, I just want to be around you mom oh you're amazing let's let's have fun like your kids just want to be with you right your husband your family your grandparents whoever it doesn't matter you just have the best vibe ever because you're embodying it you're not trying to convince anyone you're not trying to brainwash anyone it's not about them it's about you and when you embody it when you own it when you accept it and you do the work, oh my God, it's a ripple effect. And then it, they just start asking you, hey, um, you've been doing something different, right? You know, I'm having some challenges in my life right now. And I don't know, maybe you can give me a little advice. What's going on? Like, I just see you and you're thriving. Hey, what's going on? You see, like, it's through the example, through the embodiment. That's why I call myself an embodiment coach. I'm not just a mindset coach. I help people manifest their ideal lives now because it's about bringing them to the material world. It's not about talking about it and then sharing the philosophy and then writing about it. And then, no, it's about let's bring it now to the now. How do we do it? Burn anything that's holding you back right now from manifesting that. Connect with your power, with your energy, with your inspiration. Come back to that, right? To that inspiration that everybody wants to be around. And then start sharing your gifts with the world. I promise you, it's a formula. It works. That's what quantum flow is. It's helped me and thousands of people around the planet. It works. It's very simple. You got to do the work, right? It's way deeper than this. But those are the basic principles of quantum flow. And once you really embody them... Then you start shining and radiating and then people are like, oh, hey, I want some of that. <laughs> Can you share? <laughs> right? Okay, let me see any other question here. I would love to introduce quantum flow people in Ukraine. Okay, I'm now more into questions. I will look at into all your guys' requests for the scholarship. I'm going to come and check every one of them because I'm very inspired by this, just so you know. Right now, I'm not going to read them because there's a lot, okay? And why you want to learn quantum flow and why you want to teach it and all that, it, it's a lot. So I'm not going to go there, but I, I'm just asking, I'm just answering questions. I'm doing affirmations at night for the root chakra. I do feel a bit better, but I am still feeling that it's taking too slow for manifestation to come. Am I impatient or am I blocked? How do I change it? Okay, this is a really good question. Amig Sadai. Uh, affirmations are great. I would do something beyond affirmations. I will work on my pelvic floor. I will work on my connection with my pelvic floor and the energy of the earth. I will work literally on my root chakra and the nervous system, the part of the nervous system that's, that's connected to the root chakra. There's a lot of work to do. I wouldn't just stay with the affirmations. As I said, that is just 10% of the work. And some people just stay there and that's why it takes so long. So yes, first of all, be patient. Yes, because we can be impatient and it's like planting a, a, a seed and then next day you're going to look if the seed is growing, right? And then you burn the seed because the sun hits the seed and then it's gone, right? So you, it, it all takes time. But instead of losing your energy in impatience, why don't you actually work in different ways so you can manifest your vision. And that's why I, 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 I with, my, with Quantum Flow, I brought all the techniques in one. 
every technique that has worked for me, everything that I've seen has results on me. I put it all together and explored with it, connecting the universal principles and then open up to new information that came after everything came together because a whole system came through, right? So I'm not only working on my pelvic floor, I'm also working on the mindset around my pelvic floor. I'm also working on my sexuality. I'm also working around my hips. I'm also working around the breath that goes all the way down and feeds the pelvic floor that feeds your root chakra. I'm working on grounding and connecting with the earth, like literally so many ways to receive the energy of the earth that we don't know that even exist, right? And this is all the tools that we share in Quantum Flow because we want to have all the tools all the technologies, that's why I call it biohacking. Biohacking is accelerating the process of manifestation. You're biohacking the process of manifestation because you're using all the technologies you have available here and now. And that's why you manifest faster. And that's why you get into that flow of manifestation faster and easier. Okay, so it's great what you're doing. Keep doing it. But I would invite you to incorporate other technologies and go into Quantum Flow. Try it out. Ask for a free trial. We have a lot of free stuff that we give away. See if it's for you. If not, whatever works for you. But don't stay just with affirmations. Okay, S expecting for the lottery to happen one day. Okay, that's kind of giving your power away. No, I don't recommend that. Let's see any other question. Instagram, how you guys doing? I've made a very visible physical transformation, which I get comments on all the time, but for me it goes deeper. How can I explain this to them? Sally, um, it's great that you've done that, that transformation. Live it, enjoy it, be it, right? And at the same time, let them know that it's a reflection of the work you've done inside. That's all. Look, I've, I've worked from inside. I've done a lot of work inside of me. I've changed my mindset. I've changed my beliefs. I let go of procrastination, self-sabotage, whatever, you know, was holding you back because that's what usually holds us back. And we're like gaining weight and eating all this stuff that is not good for us. And it's getting us like heavy and overweight because we're disconnected from our essence. We're disconnected from our soul. So we're kind of lost in all these ways to numb ourselves, right? So you can explain it in whatever way feels good for you, but what matters is that you speak your truth. You don't have to waste your time and energy, uh, too much explanation, just like, hey, this was my story. I would get lost in all these emotional, you know, like roller coasters, which I don't get lost anymore. I don't get, that, that helps me not get lost in sugar. That helps me lose weight. That's why I look better. I look more relaxed. It feels amazing, but it's been, work that has come from inside. You know what I mean? Just do it simple. Don't worry about trying to be the best ex explanation teacher that you can. Just be you. And by them asking you questions, you're already teaching the world, you see? You're already creating change in the world and they want to know more because they see the change you've done already, right? Okay, let's go here to Facebook. Any other question? Wow, so many comments. You guys are rocking it. Okay, Kelly says, I have found things shift quicker for me since having energy healing alongside inner work. Does quantum flow get to more to the root? Yes, quantum flow is exactly what you're talking about. It's all about energy and getting the energy to flow in your body, the electricity to flow in your body. And also mindset, looking at yourself, looking at what's limiting you, looking at what's holding you back. So you can shift, you know, the victim state or you can shift those emotions that are really low and like bring you down and you kind of get lost, you know, and like your life is like this. You can't focus and go in one direction where manifestation is. Manifestation happens because you're focused, because you're aligned, because you are perseverant, because you're patient, because you're loving, because you're committed, you know. But that happens once you've done that inner alignment through your nervous system and understanding how the emotions relate to the nervous system, how the mindset relate to the nervous system, how the organs relate to the nervous system, how they're all connected. That's why it's all based on kinesiology, right? Which is the connection between nervous system, um, muscles, organs, meridians, which is the channels of energy, like where we put uh, um, needles in acupuncture, right? It's all related 
because there's no separation. But when you approach it from all the different ways and all the different technologies, that process accelerates. Why? Because I'm not just doing affirmations. I'm not just working with the meridians. I'm not just working with the chakras. I'm not just working with the nervous system. I'm not just working with the mindset of quantum science and neuroplasticity. I'm not just working with the emotional release. I'm not just working with the heart math uh, uh, expansion. I'm working with all of it. And when you're using all of it in the simplest way possible, knowing how they all relate, that's when you have the fastest effects available. And you know, that's, that's what I think uh, I put this method together because I'm just, I'm just a manifester. You know, I'm a creator. I know I am here to help others do the same. And I'm like, but I'm sometimes kind of like, there's another way. There must be a faster way. And not from a place of impatience, but can we access it in a faster way instead of it taking five years for it to take one year, you know? And that's why I've been so obsessed with getting everything that works, putting it all together in a methodology that's simple, that you can understand, and that you can see results fast, right? So this is what um, I can share from my perspective. But of, of course, some people are like, I just do hypnosis, I just do NLP, I just do breath work, I just do, it's, that's great. Yeah, I do all of that. And I actually mix them together because that's how more powerfully you can access the unconscious mind that has been programmed for so many years, guys. Not only in you, but in your family. We're, 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 we're generations here that we're inheriting, right? So it's like, how can we let go of that? And we can go into epigenetics where we don't even depend of who our family was. And we can let go of that story, but we need to shift that at an energetic level, at a nervous system level, at a mindset level, at an emotional level. There's some work to do, but it can be done with ease, grace, and flow. That's the beauty of it. I hope that answers your question. <laughs> Healing myself from addiction, multiple sclerosis has been magical. And this is something that I think quantum flow can be next level to be able to be clients, another level with energy. Yes. Romina, definitely. Uh, multiple sclerosis, completely we work with the immune system. We bring back the immune system to its natural state. We work with the nervous system to a balance of the nervous system. We, we, we help your body feel safe and come back to its natural state again. So what happens is like you just feel good with life. You just feel good with yourself. You just love life. And then when you love life, life loves you and supports you. It's, it's, it's science, you know? That's what quantum science is based on. It's all about love and allowing love to flow through your brain, through your body, through your nervous system. Once you open the pathways and you open your nervous system in order for that to happen, it just happens. You don't have to do anything, right? That's the process. So, so yes, you're very right. Sylvia, oh, so good to hear you here. I've been practicing quantum flow since 2010 and, and, uh, and my life has changed. So many shifts and gifts, boom. This is my vision. I want to be a quantum flow leader in Costa Rica. Oh, I love it. That's so good, sister. So good. Okay, that's great. Be great to hear. Mm, yay. Bibi Fenix says, I've learned so much from the life today and I've been dive, deep diving in quantum flow for over two years. I know, and I know you've been doing the work, but that's the thing, right? Until we're ready, the next layers of our purpose are revealed. Guys, that's how it works. So every step, you know, we acknowledge every step and it just opens and opens and opens. And we are just flowing in life, you know? That's your, your, your life just becomes flow and the teachings come in the right timings, the people come in the right timing, the money, the energy, everything we're ready to hold comes in the right timing. That's how it works, guys. But we gotta trust that flow and not push it, not hustle it, but align to it. Remember that always, align to it. You gotta align to it. If you're not in alignment, how can you claim for it to happen? You can claim whatever you want, but you need to align to it. You need to align from within. You need to tap in that you are living your life in gratitude. You are living your life in service. You are living your life opening up to your highest self, to the highest version of you, to your creativity, to your wisdom, to your love, to your energy, to who you are, your authenticity, to who you came to be in the planet. 
And once you own it and you commit to it, you are aligned. And you are creating frequency, and that's why we use quantum flow, because we're creating frequency between the heart, between the mind, right? It's the electrical energy with the magnetic energy. And we are connecting with the core. Core is very important because in the core, you can be in survival mode or you can be in thriving mode. You choose, and all that comes from the core. That is your battery. And that's why we work on the core. And it's not like hardcore fitness kind of thing. No, but we learn how to release whatever's holding you back in the core that can if you have overweight and can have holding emotions and can have trauma in there and wounds and whatever is there. We release all of that for the energy, the electricity to flow through you freely as what you deserve, right? Okay, we could go on forever, guys, but... I think I'm gonna keep doing questions because I'm loving when you guys bring on the questions. I will be coming live soon and doing uh, more questions with you guys. I love this so much. Thank you for everything. If I didn't answer your question, please send it to me um, personally. I would love to get back to you and or, or if not, I'll do another Facebook Live soon and uh, we'll address those questions. I love supporting you. I love supporting you guys. And, and when you share your wins and when you share your insights and when you share whatever uh, this helps you, it, it inspires me to go deeper and to share more, okay? So again, if you're just jumping into, we are offering three Quantum Flow Scholarships. How to help yourself and help others in the fastest way possible. Using quantum science, all the mindset you need, ancient wisdom, wisdom that has been used for over 5,000 years, the most advanced breathing techniques, the most advanced and simple movements for you to connect breath, movement, brain, and nervous system. All of them connect so you can biohack your nervous system and change from the core, right? That's what quantum flow is. Working with the meridians, the channels of energy in the body, working with the chakras, even if you don't understand the chakras, you know, you get a, a whole understanding of how the chakras really work and how you can access them through your nervous system. Okay, so it's a very powerful method that it's put in a simple way so you can apply it to your life, change your life, your family's life and humanity's life. You know, the fastest way possible, at least that I know of. So if you want to be part of this training, Comment below with Quantum Flow if you want more information. And if you want to go for the scholarship because right now you can't invest in yourself, just also comment below with Quantum Flow Scholarship and we'll share with you the information so you can really uh, go deep into this process and see if it's a fit for you and see if, 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 if you're the one that is going to be sharing that with the world. Because we're gonna, me and the team are gonna go through every one of the cases. We're gonna study them, and we're gonna see uh, which resonates more with us. That's simple as that. And it's not only me. I have a whole team, many people supporting me that will do this with me too. Because for me, Quantum Flow Institute is not about me. It's it's a huge group, and there's a lot of practitioners. It's a huge, huge family, right? So, so there's a lot of things going on behind the scenes. It's not just Juanpa choosing. So please don't take it personally. All you have to do is comment below why you want to do the training, why you want to change your life and other people's lives. We want to hear from you. Where did you find Quantum Flow? I want to know, right? And then please comment also, um, share this live stream wherever you're at in Instagram or Facebook. Share this live stream. We're going to see that you share it because we want to share this with as many people as possible and tag five people that you know will benefit from this that are maybe, you know, maybe people that are already helping the world or people that, you know, this would be great for them because they want, they're upgrading their lives or people that, you know, crave to help others but they don't know how to whatever only you know only you know but bring them in invite them to the party this is a party for all of us guys so let's do it together okay all right flamilia i think this is it we have been pretty much here for a long time thank you for your love thank you for your energy thank you for your presence thank you for creating a new humanity together all right thank you all so much keep doing your work let's keep showing up Let's keep committing so we can align to the best version of ourselves and we can start living our ideal life, okay? Familia, pura vida, 
from the depths of my heart. I thank you all so much. And we'll let you know very soon who are the three winners of the scholarship. Boom.